Hey, this is Tucker Jobs Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of the Tactic Testing or Tactic Reviews. And uh, everyone knows Nap. Nap does amazing tactics, has done absolutely loads of them all throughout the years. And uh, one of his most famous ones at the minute, or the ones that he uses a lot and revamps a lot, a lot of different versions, is uh, the Beowulf or the Wolf Tactics. <clears throat> and uh, the one we've got actually a video. Uh, the 442 wolf tactic or beer wolf tactic um that's the uh wing back versions of it and on this episode is the inverted wing back version um a comment on one of the videos they asked for the uh, individual instructions and set piece uh instructions as well and uh, don't worry if i'm pronouncing this right ozan kabak uh yeah so this one's obviously for you and i uh, hope you enjoy they took our jobs! What's up guys, this is Tucker Jobs Gaming and welcome to another episode of Tactic Reviews. Now I'm doing this video for a uh, for a viewer. Um, I don't know if he subscribed to the channel or not. I hope he did, considering I'm doing a whole video for him. So, you know you are. But uh, yeah, Ozan Kabak. I think uh, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. I'm uh, doing this video because she wanted to see the tactics and the instructions for set piece and individual players for the Beowulf 20.4.1 um, 442 formation with the inverted wingback version. So I've decided to go to Italy and I'm currently Juventus or Zebri, whichever version uh, of the database that you've loaded up. Uh, obviously, because you can get it so you get the proper names for teams and all that all that malarkey but um yeah i'm decided to beat juventus and at the end of the season obviously i normally now show two teams just two different uh, leagues maybe trying out the same tactic and uh, i'll be going through bournemouth premier league uh, see how they also got on with the tactic but uh, as you can see from this tactic 4-4-2 Two advanced forwards in the attack position, two wingers in the attack, a deep line playmaker in support, a box to box midfielder support, two inverted wing backs support, and two ball playing defenders in defend, and a sweeper keeper also in defend. Now, for the individual instructions, is the advanced forward left, the advanced forward right, winger left, winger right. Deep line playmaker center, box to box midfielder center, inverted wing back left, inverted wing back right, ball plane defender left, and ball plane defender right, and the sweeper keeper. So, Juventus is always a good team to manage because at the end of the day, they've got world class teams. There's no, there's no worry for me at the minute at all about winning the league uh maybe napoli they're half a decent team uh, may, may may beat me to the league but they shouldn't they shouldn't really should this look at the team that you've got cristiano for one cristiano ronaldo if you ever want the chance to obviously manage him get to enjoy his play style and pretty much dominating teams then be juventus and play him as a striker he's amazing as a striker and yeah look at him 34 years old and still got stats like that. Amazing. A legendary striker. And obviously you got the players like Higuain, Costa, or even Ramses there. He went for free, didn't he, from uh, Arsenal. 175k. Uh, obviously Darbala and all that. Buffon, Chesney, Chesney. It was not that good at Arsenal. <laughs> no, we won. But uh, yeah. Right, it's an attacking mentality, tick attacker, and uh, in possession you got the fairly wide attacking width, overlapping left and right. So obviously your inverted wing backs are going to be cutting in, and even though they're overlapping, inverted wing backs tend to drift inside the pitch instead of on the wings. Uh, slightly more direct uh, passing directness, and uh, a slightly higher tempo. You've got the players for it. All right, you can play direct football. You've got fast players. You've got good players, technical players, creative players, strong players, tall players, small players, all players. And uh, never time wasting, obviously. Work ball into box. Like I've said before, it's pretty standard that now nah, attacking tactics will have that. Run at defence. Look, at the end of the day, you've got Cristiano Ronaldo. You're going to want him running at that defence. 
um, in transition, canter and canter press in football. They're pretty standard again. Get the, try and get the ball back as quick as you can and get your players in the attacking movement. Uh, distribute to fullbacks. That's where you are obviously going to be starting all your attacking plays from goalkeeper. Roll it out or throw it long to the left or right back. And when you're out of possession, tight marking, extremely urgent pressing intensity and it gets stuck in. Again, pretty standard with the attacking tactics on Football Manager at the minute. Um, all it means is that you are going to be maybe doubling up on players and going hard and going fast on trying to get that ball back. Using offside trap, obviously you've got to have some smart centre-backs and uh, or back four, back line to be able to do that. But at the end of the day, you've also got a much higher defensive line. So when you do get the ball back, your whole team is already pushed immensely forward. And the defensive width is narrow. Again, I see that quite a lot. Um, obviously, if they're running on the wings, you'll notice that your players will all start to congregate inside, uh, ready for the uh, crosses or set pieces or anything like that. They'll mark tight. And uh, like I say, use tight to mark him. So... Uh, so yeah, um, right, for Ozan Kabak, he wants to know the set-piece instructions. So, this for you at the minute, let's go to the defend. And I'm hoping you would know what all these MM6F means, or I'm going to have to go through them. Obviously, MM, man mark, 6F, only mark the 6-yard six six yard box. only mark the 6-yard box at the far centre. Six yard box center. You know the gist, hopefully, you know it. So there's your defending for your right. And defending for your left. Obviously, you can pause the video and have a look at all these symbols yourself. Uh, and for anyone else that may want to uh may want to use them. And then let's go to the attacking left. This is. Okay, and the attacking right. Hopefully that helps you out immensely. And let's have a quick look at the free kicks. So defending right. And defending left. Attacking left. And attacking right. So if you don't know what the symbols are, and I'm not going to go through them now because it will take too much time. But just go on the internet, I'm sure there's somewhere that will tell you what SB, obviously that's stay back, non, you're not giving them an instruction. Uh, GF means go forward, there's plenty to go on the internet, you'll find out what they, they actually mean for those of you, if, if that symbol doesn't pop up for you, I'm sure it will, I'm sure it should. Um, so yeah, that's the uh, that's the tactic, obviously I've said I'm going to go and try it with Bournemouth as well, but I'm primarily focused on Juventus and I'll show Bournemouth at the end of the season. Alright, so I'll see you in January. Hi guys, hope you've been enjoying the video so far and uh, if you want to see more content, hopefully you subscribe and like the videos. Yeah, because we're telling the girlfriends that are actually sitting in the garage playing football manager to the world and saying that you guys are watching. So if they ever check on YouTube and realise we've only got like 10 subscribers, we're in trouble. So please subscribe. Uh, yeah, so back to the video. Right, here we are in January and we are currently sitting third. That's surprising. I was expecting first or very minimum second. Um, but looking at the points, it's so far a very tight league. We've lost three games. That's a shame. Um, I wasn't expecting that. Maybe Ventus aren't all that great, or maybe the tactic just doesn't work for them as well as it should have, or as well as I thought it were going to, considering it's a nap tactic. It's a beer wolf tactic. Uh, they normally do great. Um, but it could be the team just, uh, it's just don't forget, Tactics are safe to save. They could work, they can't work, they might do all right. Bad, good, amazing, fantastic. It all depends on um, player instructions, scouting out your opponent, being able to adapt to changes, and it could be anything. A couple of, couple of decent players might get injured. All sorts can go into it. So uh, tactics are not be all and end all. I've already said this before, and I'll say it again. Uh, so yeah, 12 wins, 2 draws and 3 losses on 38 points. Look, one game. We can win one game to, and then 2 drop points and we're first again, so I'm not too worried. Cristiano Ronaldo sitting at the top of the table on goals um, and average rating. All three of our players there, obviously De Ligti, uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, Darbala. Uh, we are third in the assists. Ronaldo again, first in player of the matches. And Danilo, uh, yellow cards, number one, dirty player. Um, yeah, playing pretty good. Uh, let's have a look at the schedule. 
Ooh, lost against Celtic in the uh, Champions Cup Group C. Uh, but apart from that, Drew won, won. Yeah, so we're going to qualify from uh, the group uh, stage of the Champions League. A couple of losses, obviously, against uh, Spau and then Lazio. Uh, but also some good wins. Obviously, 5-0, Milan, Roma, 4-1. Fiorentina 3-0 uh, we got one back on Celtic look 4-0 uh, move out Inter 3-0 Torino 1-0 good wins all round and looking at the squad let's have a look at their uh, stats for the competition overall so at the minute obviously the best player in all competitions not just in the league obviously in the league it's Cristiano Ronaldo but in all competitions it's Paulo Dybala, 19 goals, 5 assists, playing 7.68. It's absolutely amazing. He's wanted at the minute by Liverpool, no doubt. Look at the state of him. He's like a poor man's Messi, isn't he? <laughs> An Argentinian as well. So, uh, yeah, obviously De Ligt, 6-1, playing 7.6. Uh, Ronaldo, 16-4, playing 7.54. Everyone's playing amazing. Uh, Ronaldo is currently playing... As predominantly striker and also midfielder left. Um, he's played eight games and 16 games uh, in that. Uh, Dybala is playing. I'm get he's got to be a striker. Um, yeah, all that striker. All 23 games so far playing in the striker position. Obviously, De Ligt is going to be a centre-back. Uh, Sandro, defender left. And who else is playing? Good. So he's doing some good assists there. Where is his main position? Uh, he is predominantly playing the midfielder, and I'm guessing he is playing a. Ooh. Oh, I'll just get him up. Yeah, he's a deep line playmaker. Standard, easy. That's what he's good at. <laughs> but uh, no, everyone's playing awesome. Um, obviously, at the end of the season, I'll go on the analysis and just show a little bit of uh, the assist locations and goal locations and everything like that as well, as well as going back to all this and seeing all these stats and. Uh, stuff at the end of the season so yeah going good so far not amazing all right uh, so i'll see you at the end of the season right welcome back it's the end of the season and i'm not too surprised top of the league came first juventus on 90 points to lazio's 85 um a bit closer than i thought really lost four so still good still good tactic but I thought it might have been with Juventus and with a good tactic, nap tactic as well, and nap one, that it could have been maybe one loss, more draws maybe. But uh, no, 28 wins, six draws, four losses, 90 points on a goal difference of 78. So we've got a lot of goals here. And uh, obviously sitting on the top of the player stats, we've got Cristiano Ronaldo came first with 31 league goals. Uh, Diabala on 22 came third. Average rating, all three players Sandro, Diabala, Cristiano Ronaldo. Um, assists, obviously, became second there with 12. Player of the matches, Diabala and Ronaldo, first and second. And yellow cards, Danilo is still there uh, on top spot, 18. So, yeah, everything looks pretty good. Uh, looking at the schedule, uh, they managed to win the double. Now, the double that they won was the super cup final and the uh where else oh yeah in the league so that's what we got they obviously unfortunately went out in the semi-final against psg um lost out in the final of the italian cup against napoli and yeah so i think they also went oh yeah i've already said that Anna. yeah so yeah but some good results Obviously, 5-1 Verona, the last game of the season. We beat Napoli 3-0, 2-0 uh, Lazio, 2-1 Inter. Um, obviously, the route in the Champions League, there was some good wins there. We beat Real Madrid in both legs, 2-0 and 5-2. Dortmund uh, in one leg, but we beat them 6-1 first game, and then we lost 2-1. And obviously, there's some uh, guttering losses as well, like the PSG game. Uh, lost both uh, both ties there. Um, Cagliari 3-2, Napoli in the cup final, that would have been a bit guttering. Um, but no, everyone played absolutely amazing. Now looking at the squad and overall in all competitions is Paulo Dybala was top. So Ronaldo got the best in the league, but Dybala was best overall. 
uh, 33 goals, 18 assists, and all those 33 goals came from the position of the striker. So that's uh, for if you want to be obviously Juventus, then you know. Uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, 41 and 10. Uh, most of his games were played as the striker, and he had eight on the midfield at left. And 20 assists, Marilyn. Uh, obviously, he played in the midfield role and he was the deep line playmaker. So, deep line playmaker did very well. 20 assists. That's awesome. Well, that's a big name. Right. I'm going to try this one. It's going to be hard. Federico. That one's easy. Bernadeschi. 11 11. 7.13. Uh, he did pretty good. Pretty good indeed. And my guess is he played on that midfield at right position. And yeah, 48 games in the midfield at right, one game in center, and one game on the left. So everyone played pretty good. Let me just rearrange these applications so you can see who played the most games. So starting from mainly, let's say, Descaglio, um, everyone above him, they look like the first teamers. Uh, for those of you who wanted to know who played the most games. And yeah, everyone played awesome. Uh, looking at the analysis of all the goals, uh, all competitions scored 131 and only conceded 40. Uh, domestic league matches, we scored 84 and only let in 23. Only let in 23 goals in the whole season. That's good going, good going. But in all competitions, we had obviously one wonder goal, quite a few goals on the outer rings of the uh, area. So I'm guessing that could have been Darbala, it could have been Ronaldo with the free kicks, long range shots, anything like that. Uh, and obviously, as normal, a lot of goals in the center of the uh, of the area. And assist locations, heavily on the right hand side, 28. So that could have been obviously the deep line playmaker could have been varying off on that right hand side. You've got the inverted wingers running up, you've got the midfielders right and left. And we've already seen that midfielder right. Uh, got 11 and 11. And he played, had a very good game. Then you've got Diabala that could easily be getting the ball pretty much down the pitch, running right, swinging it into Ronaldo, or vice versa. Ronaldo could have been on the right, pulling off to swing it in. Uh, that's the, always the good thing about having two strikers, is they can work off each other. And yeah, everyone played absolutely mint. And. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. It was tough going. Uh, obviously, I know this tactic doesn't always work because I've tried many tactics. Like I said, tactics not be all, end all. I've tried many. I've been sacked by using some sometimes. It just doesn't work. Sometimes it's dependent on the team, the kind of players that you've got. Uh, don't forget that when I try these tactics out, I don't, block, I don't buy players. I don't bring in staff and I don't alter players. I haven't got the in-game editor. So I don't obviously change things around and make it look like uh, say, I don't know, Chef United. Oh my God, Chef United won the league using this tactic. Yeah, maybe because you've edited every player made to look like Ronaldo and Messi. But no, I haven't. Um, so this is obviously a one save straight through and have a go. But uh, yeah, so that's Juventus. Uh, so let's take that short trip or whatever trip on the plane all the way to England and see how Bournemouth did. Right, we are in England, end of the season, and Bournemouth, not too bad. They were predicted to come 14th and they came 6th. 20 wins, 8 draws, 10 losses on 68 points, so they've qualified for continental football. Bob on. End of the day, Bournemouth aren't a top team. Right, they're a mid to lowerish class team. Um, obviously, Callum Wilson, what a lad. Noonbre 1-0 on goals came first on 28. Harry Wilson came third with average rating on a 7.48. And Callum Wilson again joint first on a player of the matches. And again, Adam Smith is number first on yellow cards. So this tactic might be a little bit dirty for those players that don't like to rack up too many yellow cards or red cards. Um, unfortunately, the get stuck in uh, option is on. And that does tend to happen. But uh, looking at the players, yeah. Overall, in all competitions, Harry Wilson, 17 goals, 11 assists, played a 7.48. Just below him, Callum Wilson, all competitions, 33 goals, 7 assists, playing a 7.47. Uh, everyone's been playing amazing. Harry Wilson actually played most of his games on the midfielder right, but he did switch it up on the attacking midfielder right. That shouldn't have happened. But he also played a midfielder left and a striker. And obviously, Callum Wilson is the all-out striker. Who else played pretty good? You're looking at Joshua King. 
uh, most likely play striker or that left. So let us have a look where he played. Uh, attacking midfielder left. Why is it showing attacking midfielder left? It should be midfielder left. Midfielder left and striker centre. Uh, most games obviously played striker. So yeah, he played all right. Um, they had some good games, uh, some good wins. For coming sixth at the end of the day, you're only Bournemouth. Um, but yeah, 8-1. 8-1 Aston Villa. Arsenal beating 4-2. Liverpool, FA Cup final. Ah, I forgot about that one. They won the FA Cup final. 1-0 against Liverpool. Awesome. Um, Watford, 1-0. Lost against Norwich and Everton. Uh, got to the FA... No, not FA Cup. Added to doing the Carabao Cup. And got knocked out against Brighton in the second round. So they didn't do very well in that. But uh, no, some good results. Um, lost against Man City. Drew against Liverpool. Uh, and so Liverpool didn't actually beat... Bournemouth all season, not once. At Leicester, good win. Tottenham 4 3, good win again. So, yeah, this tactic is uh, pretty good. Use it. Uh, like I said to all the people that tend to, they always say, if you're using someone else's tactic, it doesn't feel like you've accomplished anything. Come on. Of course, you have. Everyone niggles and changes little, little bits of the tactic and just do it. Upload a tactic, have a little play around, half a season, what's working, what's not, change a little bit. Change the wingers into attacking wingers or supporting wingers. Change one of the two, uh, advance forwards, maybe press one to a deep line forward or pressing forward. Let me just switch it around. Uh, you might not like the wingers, push them up, have uh, two inside forwards instead, uh, or inverted wingers. That sometimes works. So, yeah, awesome. I was happy with this. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. This is Tucker Jobs Gaming. Hopefully, you uh, subscribe and like the video. We managed to hit over 200 subscribers uh, the other day, so we're well happy with that. And it uh, just shows that, obviously, we must be doing something right. And I uh, hope everyone carries on subscribing because we want to we wanna get up there, get up high, and then we'll carry on bringing content out for you. So, thank you. See you later. Bye.